and that's going to be the Bolt Report. What to expect Sunday at SoFi in the home opener? What are the keys to victory? All right, so you got the Chargers. Chargers? Chargers. Chargers 10-7. and seven. Um, No pressure. They're not the team that won the Super Bowl last year. That's the Chiefs. You know, um, they're not the team that won the Super Bowl two years ago. That's the Rams. But they're a team that has that Super Bowl look in their eyes this year. And I know it sounds crazy, but at the end of the day, they didn't move to L.A. just to move to L.A. They moved to L.A. because they felt like if they went and put themselves in a bigger market, that they can become a bigger team. And I think that that's all coming to fruition now. You got pretty much a top three quarterback in Justin Herbert. You got one of the more versatile running backs in Austin Eckler. And then to top it off, you probably got one of the best wide receiver trios in the NFL. And we could say maybe some of the best four wide receivers in the league if you add in Darius Davis, because we know Quentin Johnston is going to be probably a is is a non bust player. He's going to be big time. He's going to ball. Mike Williams, we already know he's a freak of nature. And Keenan Allen is one of the more consistent wide receivers in the NFL over the last decade. So you have that working for you. Then you have Everett at the tight end position, and you have Parham as well, too. And then you have one of the top 10 offensive lines in the league as well, too, when everybody's healthy. So the offense is set. They're good to go. Everything's on, um, on tilt for that side. The side that you say to yourself that can be questioned is the defense, but it's not the two edge rushers that they have in Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa. Those two are probably first ballot Hall of Famers. Let's keep it real. And then you got Derwin James, a guy that is playing can play defensive back, and he can play linebacker as well too. So he's a rover. He can do whatever he wants. My biggest question with the uh, Chargers is the whole entire secondary. I don't think that those corners are – good enough to say that they're elite, but they're not bad to say that they're mediocre. They're somewhere in the middle. If they can get Asante Samuel Jr. to step up his game this year and actually be a little more healthy this year, skies are the limit for the, the, for the DB crew. But that's my biggest question when it comes to the Chargers. But when it comes to Sunday's game, they're going to have to keep Tua honest. They're going to have to give Tua – the little bits and pieces, nothing that goes past 20, 30 yards. They're going to have to keep the double coverage on Tyreek Hill, and they're going to have to get really physical with Jalen Waddle. I think if you get physical with Jalen Waddle, he goes across the middle, you light his ass up a few times, he's probably going to say, I don't want this, I don't want no more of this. So that's something that you have to put into play. The biggest thing for the Chargers is, though, is that they have the advantage in the running game. And if they can take advantage of that portion of the game and hold on to the ball for at least 60 to 70% of the game, they should be able to win this game fairly easily. But knowing the Chargers, this is going to be one of those absolute epic matchups because that's what the Chargers do. They always have to have a game where everything goes back and forth and everything becomes a damn uh, action movie. So. We're going to have to see. We're just going to have to see. But the Chargers, I do like what I, what they built here in the preseason, what they've done in training camp. And I'm going to give you three players to circle to have big games. First and foremost, Justin Herbert. Second will be Khalil Mack. And here goes the third name for you. And he's, a, he's somebody, hopefully he gets enough touches or even a look because he deserves it, but he could be the X factor in this game. Running back, Elijah Dotson. So if Dotson gets some playing time, he scores a touchdown, you heard it here first, that he was going to be the guy on Sunday. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it shakes out. But if I do have to make a prediction, I do feel like the Chargers win this game 30 to 20. That's where, where I'm going to go with this one. So we're going to go ahead and take our first commercial break, and when I get back, we're going to jump into some Dodger baseball, and we're going to talk some Wednesday night baseball as well, too. So you guys stay tuned. This is the Premier Sports Betting Show, the primetime angles with the one and only Pop DiBiase, the primetime captain. Good News Only Racing Club, led by the legendary Doug O'Neill, the trainer of two Kentucky Derby winners, and I'll have another in Nyquist, 
Also trained two-time Breeders' Cup 